Fuck the American flag 100. It has become a symbol of domestic terrorism and an out of control police culture in America. That's why four US code, I don't know how to read that symbol, eight, respect for flag states it's not supposed to be used in that manner. But you mega donuts don't care about that. Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. And you know how when you're in the boys chat and you send things to each other just to rile each other up? Well, this is a case of that. So I came across this tweet because one of my boys sent it to me just to rile us all up. And uh, I don't know who the tweet author is, don't really care. It made me think of the fact and, and, and kind of had a, a minor revelation. And to you, this might not be a revelation. You might be like, well, duh, Dylan, like I knew that. Uh, however, as I was reflecting on the absolute abhorrent nature of this tweet where the symbol of our nation is now a, a terrorist symbol according to this author, um, which is preposterous on a variety of levels that we're not going to go into. But what it made me realize or think about is that these people, people like this author, I don't know about him specifically, but people like this, they hate America in its ideals not in its practice. So, you know, over the last 10-ish years, you know, my, my ardor for America has cooled in, in the sense that in practice, we're not doing what we're supposed to be doing, right? We have a constitution, we, we have a way government's supposed to work, we have ways the country is supposed to function, you know, we're supposed to have a small federal government. We're supposed to have states' rights over the federal government. We're not supposed to be policing the world. Like, in, in practice, that's where my frustration and my anger comes from, right? Is, is in practice, we're not doing what we're supposed to be doing. And I can understand, I can relate to uh, how anybody would, would have frustrations with America in practice, right? If, if you want to get into the, the race game and say, oh, it's frustrating that America is racist in practice practice, that there's, there's systemic injustice and, you know, all this kind of thing. We can talk about what happens in practice, right? We can have a conversation about that. But that's not really what people are upset about, is it? People like this are upset about America in its ideals. If everything in America was following the Constitution as the country is laid out perfectly, and if everything was in perfect harmony of how the country was originally designed to be, these people would not be less upset, they would be more upset because they hate the ideals of America. They hate American ideals. They don't want America in its idyllic form or at all. They want a new country. They want a different country. They're not interested in trying to you know, take America back to what it should be or, or the ideas of hard work paying off or the ideas of you know, freedom and liberty and individual conscience, like they don't care about any of that. That's not a value system for them. They have a communistic, tyrannical value system that is interested in you complying with what they want, full stop. So I thought about that. And I thought that really, really gets to the core of it real quick, I think, is that at the end of the day, your, your liberal aunt who wants to complain about this, that, or the other thing, you don't share the same common set of values. But I think it's another data point to say, even if things were functioning correctly, how we would define it, they would still be upset because they don't want America. They'll say they want America and they're say they're patriotic and they'll say all these other things. But at the end of the day, all the stuff they want is anti-American at best. They don't want America. They want a new country. The ironic part, of course, is there's lots of countries in the world they could go to that have those ideals. There's no place in the world that does America, right? It's, the, it's an experiment. We call it the American experiment because it is entirely unique in all of human history. But they don't want the experiment. They just want to go be like the nations. They want to go be like the other countries. When again, that option exists. You can go there. There's nowhere else where you can go and have America. When you get down to the core of it, the true objection is we don't agree on what America should be. We, people tend to be on the right-hand side of things, 
want to go back to the foundation, right? We want to say, look, we lost our way. We left the foundation and that's, that's part of the problem. They want to say, forget the foundation. Let's go in a new direction. That's the problem. And there's no, there's, there's no compromise there. There's no, there's no medium ground. There's no way to, there's no shared values. You can't talk that through. At its core, it's a disagreement. At its core. I would love to come down and train with you. So go to my website down below and hopefully we can get together. Do brave deeds and endure.